2017 when I finished my my secondary school. My, my father told me that, that I should come and travel. I said no problem. When I got to Libya, there was war. Every day they used to kill people in our camp. One night they killed 820 people in our camp. They threw bombs in our camp, but God rescued me. After that one, I, I want to I want to cross to. Italy on this day. I spent 20, 21 hours on top of the sea. Before we know, Libya people now came and I shoot the boat. Out of 180, only 14 of us that survived it. And they took us to underground prison from underground. They, they now deport us to our Nigeria. Since when I came back, when I came back, I called my father that I couldn't make it. M my father told me that I should not call him again. Anything that concerned him and me is already in. Since when I came back, um, I don't have anything to do. When, when I came back, my father asked me that he, he borrow money from me that I should come and pay the money. I want him now give us, I now said to us, they give us a 300,000 naira. I now give my father that to use the money to pay for what he have borrowed. Now, he, he now use the money to pay. Since when I came back, every, everything is, is already as in hard for me. Even house that I'm staying now, even my brother asked me to leave. He will come that my mate is buying a car for their parents, my mate is building a house for their parents. I say that I can't keep myself. Even to even eat, it's a problem to me. Uh, I don't I don't know. Last time on second on second, I was planning to take a rope. As in when I look myself, it's Mr. Patrick that I even said myself, his voice notice here. As in, I was crying because on, on New Year's Day, I don't have food. My, my brother that uh, I used to stay with, he, he asked me to leave the house. I said, brother, why, why are you doing this to me? It's just because that I try, I, I couldn't make it. That is the reason we are. He said that I should leave the house. Where's your mom now? My, my mom, I can't, I can't lie for you since, since I came back. N n n no one is responding to my call. I don't know where my mom is now. After his secondary education as a teenager, Enjoran said his father asked him to choose between joining the Nigerian army and traveling to Europe by road so that the young man can make life easier and better for the family. The then 16-year-old opted to travel by road to Europe via Libya and got the required funds for the trip from his father, but unknown to them, this marked the beginning of a turbulent situation for the family. Everything they hoped for did not work, and Endurance had to battle for his own life to remain in Libya until he had the opportunity to return to Nigeria, where he has since been struggling to survive as he also battles an injury to his face which he sustained during the fruitless trip. My name is Damla Irokola, and you're watching another episode of the award-winning and migration story series on Legit TV. What happened to you? We learned you traveled, tried to leave Nigeria illegally by road. Wait, where were you trying to go to? What, what, what happened and when was that? Okay. I was planning to go to Europe and unfortunately I, I traveled the I traveled through the land. When I go to Libya, many things happened and they arrested me and took me back to my country. When, when did you try to travel? That was 2017 when I finished my, my secondary school. My, my father told me that, that I should come and travel. I said no problem. When I when I got to Agade, I spent two weeks in Agade without no food. And after the Agade, I went through the through the desert. When I was going, I lost 32 people before I got to Libya. When I got to Libya, there was war. When I was in downtown, I, I every day they used to kill people in our camp. And I was crying that I want to, I want to come back to Nigeria. I, I couldn't see any help. Small time they took us to Suprata, Suprata one. I have many, I have many things. There is only God that rescued me. When I was in Suprata, when I was in Suprata one, something happened. One night they killed 820 people in our camp. They threw bombs in our camp, but God rescued me. After that one, I, I want to, I want to cross to. Italy on this day. I spent 20, 21 hours on top of the sea. When when we have a rescue, when we see rescue, they couldn't rescue us. They asked us to wait. Before we know, Libya people now came 
and I shoot the boat out of 180. Only 14 of us that survived it, and they took us to underground prison from underground. They, they now deport us to our Nigeria. Since when I came back, when I came back, I called my father that I couldn't make it. M m m my father told me that I should not call him again. Anything that concerned him and me is already in. Since when I came back, um, I don't have anything to do. When when, when I came back, my father asked me that he, he borrowed money from me that I should come and pay the money. How am now give us, I now said to us, they give us a 300,000 era. I now give my father that to use the money to pay for what he have borrowed. Now, he now use the money to pay. Since when I came back, every, everything is, is already as in hard for me. Even house that I'm staying now, even my brother asked me to leave the day before yesterday. And I, I was begging him that if he, if he pursue me now, where where else where would I go to? I, I cannot continue living here now to, to my village, go and stay village again. Because um, by now, I'm supposed to have what I'm what I'm doing in my hand, but I don't have any money. But I have some business on my head. I, I, I'm be, as in, before I left Nigeria, I left this Alamanco, but I don't have any money to start up. Don't have anything to do. When I called my my father, my father told me that anything that concerns me, concerns me, it's over. I don't have anything to do now. Your father asked you to travel to Europe. Yes, he told me when I was in school, when I was in SS3, he asked me that, he called me, say, say, I don't answer, so I say, uh, I will, you, 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 you choose two things for me, whether you go to uh, army or you travel at, out of the two, choose one, I say that, that I cannot go to I mean, I better travel, that is the, the only option that I have. I say, okay, so I should come and travel at. When, since, I, since I came back now, it, 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 as if I ever call in, you should not pick in, say that anything that concerns you know, I mean, that it's already, uh, that you don't have anything to do with me again. And he gave you the money to process the traveling? Yes. How much did he give you? Uh, when, I, when I left in Nigeria, I paid 500,000 euros. I got it to Libya, I was struck in, and I, I paid myself 400,000 Naira before I pay another crossing money again, sum of 200,000 Naira. That was the journey. So, give or take, you spent roughly 1.1 or 1.2 million Naira yes, trying to cross to Europe. Yes, sir. Why did the father say you should travel out? What was his reason? Why did he say you should choose between going to the uh, armed forces and traveling outside the country what was his reason did you ask him yes i asked him he said that he has suffered a lot in this world that when i get there i will able to raise him up that was the uh, mission when i came back and i called the mother that, that carried me there i said ah mr ma no when i was there the man, the, the man I called me, he said he say that I don't answer. I said, so I say, say, I know that you are not coming to Nigeria again. You will die or you will enter. I said, ah, why are you saying such a word on me? He said that I know that if you came back, you will kill me because of what I what I make you to pass through. I said that as, as I tell you, you are not you are not my God. If God asked me to cross, I will cross. If God asked me to die, I will die. When I came back, I gave the man almost two years, and I used the SS to arrest the man. When I arrest him, because I don't have need to process the case, the SS not living on my back. And the, the petition is, is, is here with me. The SS not free the guy that I don't have money to process the case. That why I should arrest the person. And I told them that it's human trafficking. You cannot. They say, they say if I don't take time, they will arrest me. That's the reason I just leave the case like that. I just tell God that, God, you are the only one that I can survive all this matter. When I arrest him, I ask the man to come and pay me my money so that I can use the money to start up a business in Nigeria. The, the man told me that he did not have, but on, on information, I had information that he barely saved some of 100,000 Naira in DSS, and DSS now leave the man. Um, did you try to travel again after the first time? Did you try after the first time? Because your father, did you put pressure on you to travel again the second time? Yes, I put pressure. 
I traveled to Ghana last year. When I was in Ghana, when I was in Ghana, I was working. I was working in car wash, but I I couldn't get myself. My father was calling me. They don't send me money. Send me money. I said that I'm just come to Ghana. Just the first time. I just I just I said that I cannot continue to wash uh, car. F- it, it, I can't I can't continue to work here. But the money that they were paying me there is too small. I got to gather myself and came back to Nigeria again. Since then, but yeah, if I have any opportunity to travel, uh, to, to, to leave this country, by is is by is by flight I will go. But by land, I don't think so. I don't think so that I, I can travel through the land to Europe in my life. When you went to Ghana, what was your mission? Did you go to Ghana just to stay there and work, or you wanted to go through Ghana to another country? I go there so that. I can work and save money to, to, for that place to move to another another country, but I couldn't save the money. Uh, I got to come back. And your father was pressurizing you. Already. Yes, m- 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 my father used to come in that I should send it money so that he, he will he will use it to start up his business. Uh, I told my father that it's not what you think that is happened there. That I I can't kill myself. I can't say my mate is buying car now. I should go my put and what I did, as in I I I will suffer at, at last. I told my father that you should stay. That God's time is the best. That should be as in should continue to pray for me. Since when I came back for Ghana, if I call him, did he pick my call? Sometimes he will call me. He will call me that my mate is buying car for their parents. My mate is building house for their parents. I say that I can't keep myself even to even eat. It's a problem to me. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Last time on second, on second, I was planning to take a rope. As in, when I look myself, it's Mr. Patrick that ever saved myself. His voice notice here. As in, I was crying because on on New Year Day, I don't have food. My my, my brother that I used to stay with, he asked me to leave his house. I said, brother, why why are you doing this to me? It's just because that. I try. I, I could do make it. That is the reason we are. He said that I should leave the house. I call Mr. Patrick. I say, see what see what is going on. See as Mr. Patrick asked me to to come down. He sent me two thousand naira. He asked me to ask you just to last. See one day everything will be good. I say oh, okay, sir. That is the reason. Sometimes if anything as in the last time, sometimes I used to save money, but I used to use it to treat myself on this injury. I got it when I was there. This they asked me to come and bring several hundred thousand naira so that they can operate it. But I don't have any money. I complained to IOM. IOM asked me to go to Faith Medical Place. When I go to Faith Medical Place, they will be giving me um, uh, a drop. When I meet the daughter, the man, the the man that IOM sent me to, he asked me what happened. I explained everything to her that I had an injury and the thing break the bone and come out of my mouth. He asked me to. He referred me to Iroa specialist to go and treat the this thing. When I got to Iroa specialist, they asked me to go and bring seven hundred thousand naira so that they will operate it. And I told the uh, I call I went make it see what happened. I went I, I went, when I called them and they are not picking. I can't keep myself. I don't have any money to to go. So when I walk through the when I come out, as in my eye will be bringing. Yes. So thanks now. When I, I ask, if I see work now to go, will be big problem for me because I know if I go that work, I will use the money to buy drugs. That's the reason. What happened to you here? What particularly caught you here? Oh. When I was in Turkey, w- w- one guy stabbed me on my face here. Who's the guy? I don't. He's Nigeria guy, but I, I don't know his name. Why did he stab you? Because that he, he, he asked us to come up. Uh, bring money. I told him that I don't have any money to uh, any money to bring. That she called my father. My father was delaying then. That my father asked. Them, my father promised them that he would send the money. My father couldn't send the money that very day, and he now stabbed me, and he now break the bone. I come out on my mat. Do you have brothers and sisters? Do you have siblings? But I'm the only one that my mom gave back to. But I have another one that my father gave back to. But they are lithium. So you're from a polygamous family? Yes. Sir. Has, I mean, 
You have four, four wives. Four wives. Yeah, yes, the only one from your mother's side. Yes, sir. That, you, that, that you gave birth to for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, when, from your explanation, you said you went to Libya in 2017. Yes, I was 2017, uh, May 23, that was I got to Libya. That's about five years ago. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Five years ago. Yes, sir. Okay, so that means you must have been 16. Yes, I'm. Um, that I was 16 to, may I just say, 16 to, to 17, 17 that time, yes. Wow. How did it feel that you, as a teenager, you traveled, did you go with people that you knew, or how, how did you feel then going to a strange land and then going through all of those hardships in a very strange land? How was it like? Well, the first day that I entered the vehicle, I was afraid that because when I look the people that we are moving together, they are not my age mate. I was afraid. But when I go to when I go to Niger, I was not afraid again. When I go to Niger, I pray, I pray, and I fell on my knees. I say, God, what kill others will not kill me. That was my prayer. So what kill others will not kill me. I was there as I was suffering. When I go to desert. I buried 32 people. After that, after when, when some people was dying, I just crossed my mind that anything that want to happen, let it happen. If God will, if God, if God asked me to die in this desert, I will die. If God asked me to live, I will live. I was not afraid again. I almost said that on a very good day I will go to where I'm going. When I when I get to there, I can see what as in when when I get to it. Uh, Italy, God will open a way for me. When you say you buried 32 people, you meant you dug the ground and you put them in. How? How? When you say you buried them, you used your hand, you dug the ground, you put them in and covered them. Is that what? Yes. When, when they die, we actually take them to a particular place. We we'll use and to remove the sand. We we'll put them. We we'll bury them. Pay our last respect to him. We we'll live there. At 16? Yes, sir. So you, you, your dad um, was not bothered that at 16 you were going to Europe. So what were you planning to do in Europe? Did you have friends who told you what they did in Italy at the time? Or No. Um, I'm a good footballer when I was in school. I used to play ball in, in different in different states. I played ball in, in Abuja once at a time when we have one competition. On my mind, when my father told me that come and travel, I said that when I got there, I will play football in Italy. I, I was so happy when my father told me that I should come and travel. But unfortunately, I, I couldn't go there. I couldn't kill myself. What's happened? If you had not traveled, what, what would you have done? I mean, what was your own plan? What was your ambition after secondary school? What was your own personal ambition? My plan was not after the secondary school because I'm, I'm the only one that my mom gave birth to. After the secondary school, I got to further my education. After my education, I will plan to open a salon. That, that was my plan that year, that I will open a salon. After my secondary school, I will open a salon first, because my, my father will betray me when I, when I enter school, because I don't have anyone to call again. I will open a salon first, I will be managing, I will know that that salon will, will give me small, small chain. When I enter school, Everything will go well for me. Th th that was my plan that time. Where's your mom now? My, my mom, I can't, I can't lie for you since, since I came back. No one is responding to my call. I don't know where my mom is now. You don't know where she is? No, sir. When was the last time you heard from her? M almost four years now. You've not seen or heard from her? No. And your stepbrothers too, you don't? Yes, so I, I used to go there and, and greet them. I used to go there. I, I see them last year. I used to go there and greet them. That. Sometimes when I go there, they will be asking me my money. Sometimes I will be crying. Normally, I'm supposed to give them money, but I don't have any money to give them. Sometimes when I go to them, I'll be crying that I, I don't know why God used to, used to choose the thing just like that. That I'm, I'm the first one. I used to. I, I used to, as in normally, I, I supposed to buy the clothes, buy them, uh, but I don't have money to buy. I will be crying sometimes. 
You said on the second of January you almost took a rope. What happened that day? What were you thinking about that day? Because I'm I'm thinking about get one of my guy we moved the same day, but the guy crossed now now in Europe now. The guy called me on video call. Called me. He said that I'm building my sec second house. The thing was paining me. As in I can't bear it because we moved the same day. We left in Nigeria the same day. We, we got to Libya the same day. We suffered everything together, but it, it, it crossed. I, I, I couldn't enter. It was pain. And my brother now came. My brother asked me, my brother bring a girl. Because it's not my house. It's my brother. I don't, I don't have anything. He, bring, he, said, he said that I should, I should go outside. I said, ah, brother, I'm sleeping. He said, oh, that I'm, I'm a man. I should leave the room. Small time, the, the guy now slapped me, and I want to slap the guy back. My, my brother started beating that I should leave the house. He threw my back outside. I said, No problem. Before I call Mr. Patrick, Mr. Patrick now sent me 2000 era. And I sleep, I sleep inside the kitchen for two days before he asked me to come inside the game. I don't have anywhere to go, to, to go to apart from here. So what have you been doing? I mean, what are the few things you've been trying to lay your hands on? You said you learned something. What did you learn? I learned Alumaco. What's Alumaco? This, these people that have couple glass window. Aluminium? Yes. That's the only thing. You said you had plans in your head. What are the other things that you have in your head? That... I'll be planning to learn Babe. But after learning, I don't have any, and I don't have any support that will ask me, assist me to open the store. That that was my major problem. Now I don't have any any plan. When I start, I don't think my brother will, as in, he will accept for me to stay house again. Because my brother has told me that he wants to get married. When he get married, I will leave his house. That is my major fear. I don't have any money to rent. I don't have any, if that I. I don't, as in, I don't know how to explain it. This is almost three months now. We plan. I will call Mr. Parry that I want to let you to but I'm afraid that I don't. When, when I start, I don't. I don't know anybody that will assist me or feeding or uh, say that I should. I should start first. No problem. Mm, I, I start start last week. It's, it's not even too far for me. The story is not too far for me. Babbing? Yes, yes. So you're learning babbing now? Yes. Can you cut my hair? Yes, I, I can cut your head. My head or my hair? Your, your head. You cut my head, that's why I like. <laughs> okay, so when you wanted to go to school, what did you want to study? What did you plan to study in school? I can't tell you because I, I, I know mouse very well. Any, any mouse that crossed my path, <laughs> On my result from, from from high school to secondary, I used to get a on my on my mass. Even my principal advised me that you know, when I, after my secondary school I should follow. As when I want to follow, I should go for a company that I'm intelligent in in mass. Was a no problem. But the thing as in my father now bring another suggestion to me. That's the reason I left aspect of the school. I just forget about the school stuff. I got to obey my father's instruction. When you were in Libya and they were asking you to remit those amounts of money, they said you said you travelled with four hundred thousand and then four hundred and five hundred thousand rather than four hundred thousand to to bail yourself. Then when the um, when the boat bus or something, you had to pay two hundred thousand again. Your father was sending this money. Yes. He was sending this money. When, when I told my father I said, see what happened, he will send me money so that I can go to my destination. Sometimes he would tell me that I used to borrow this money so that you should cross fast so that you would send me but I should use the money to pay what what I borrow. I say no problem that be just be praying for me so that I went out where I'm going to. But unfortunately I I, I, I couldn't meet up. When I, I was so happy the day UM Came to rescue us and bring us back to our country. I was happy that after only when I got to Nigeria, but I was crying. The reason why I was crying that after I, all the old suffer, all the old stress, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still in Nigeria. 
that was only way that I'm crying that I want to start for square one. That is the that's the only way I'm crying. Even m- most of my friends, especially girls, they came with three baby, four baby, so so I'm pregnant with two baby. But I thank God that I'm alive because m- 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 many people die on that road, many people perish. And uh, if I, as in on my experience, as people that are buried there, yeah, that my eye weakness is almost that die, that died, almost almost close to one thousand people that I witnessed died. That my eye see, but I thank God that I'm alive. That was I was I was happy when I when I came back. At least you had that to hold on to. That at least you're alive. Yeah. Yes. Okay, if you were to turn back the hands of time, like if you're not going to listen to your, would you would you rather take to your father's instructions to um, travel abroad or you remain in Nigeria? If you were to turn back the hands of time, that would you rather go abroad or remain? Mm, mm, now, if my father called me and I didn't ask, uh, I don't want to travel back to abroad again. I'll tell him, I'll tell my father no that you should give me the money to start up a business. Nigeria. After two years, I will pay him back. I know when I start up a business in Nigeria, before two years, I'm got to that money. Ab- abroad, n- nobody is picking money in abroad. You, you go there and work. W- when I came back, when I came back to to this thing, et- maybe you year of uh, Etiwa. Etiwa brought us. Etiwa called us to Lagos, and they teach us one good work that no, nobody will has have the skills as i am now i can draw a plan of house any house that you want to build i can draw the plan i can do i can do setting i can do plastering it's not the uh, plastering that nigeria used to plaster after you lay one part you live in euro plastering that's my picture when i was in this in the school Yes, in Europlasting, they, 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 they have what you call skating, floating, uh, uh, floating code. Before you put the spirit level, you plumb it before you apply another motor before the finishing. You, you, you have to apply almost to, uh, almost to six motor before you can leave it. They teach us everything there. I was happy when, when I got to the the training because that I, I, I learned m- m- more of the uh, many things there is it's mr patrick that connect me to etiwa sometimes when i wake up i used to pray for him that anything that he lay his hands god should bless him since i come back as he, he will be there for me anytime that i call him he used to he, he used to re- respond to my call is there another thing that you want to talk about that next and it, as in, I'm still begging. I was that as in, I need assistance from then. That is the reason, especially on this my face. On this my face, as in, sometimes when I have like 20,000 era, I used to go to the hospital. Sometimes now it's good now, it's just because of the drugs I take. That is the reason that it's come to sometimes a week. I will not leave this room. I will be sad because it will be paining me. I don't want anybody to ask me that. I don't, what is what is the problem? I have to stay safe. My brother sometimes he will use the money to he will use the personal money to go to fit me the place, go out buy me drugs. I will eat and everything will be cool. I will still beg you then that you should assist me, especially this on this my face. When I go to our office that very day, Mr. Sata was calling me that. As why well, I've been not told him. I tell him, when I go to your training, I told you everything. You, you, you said that you will get back to me since then. You refuse. When the eye was paining me, not called me, said that uh, how I tell him that the eye is still paining me. That I should, I, I beg him that you assist me so that I can, I can treat myself.